images that you are seeing show people in Peru desperately trying to stock up on medical oxygen, worried if they will arrive in time to replace their oxygen tanks to give a loved one another 10 hours of life. This is very serious times and the lack of oxygen and the availability of oxygen is really becoming a major problem and a pandemic in and of itself. Due to the increases in COVID cases, the world is experiencing a shortage of medical oxygen supplies, especially in developing nations, which is extremely important that we come up with a solution to help these developing nations succeed and survive. This is Dr. Carlos Basuberry. I am an anesthesiologist trained at Harvard Medical School. Due to the rise in demand for medical oxygen around the world, especially in developing countries, in collaboration with colleagues of mine, we have developed a device to save oxygen. Oxygen that is usually supplemented to patients with respiratory problems. This device can save at least 50% in oxygen consumption by patients. That means an oxygen tank can last twice as long. This device achieves or optimizes the oxygen delivery to patients by providing oxygen only during the inhalation phase of the respiratory cycle. And now my colleague, Dr. James O'Brien, a specialist in respiratory medicine, will give you more details. If we would like to look at this in a diagrammatic standpoint, I will show you in this diagram now, a normal respiratory cycle includes inhalation to this point, which we can see is blue and has lines going through it, and exhalation, inhalation, exhalation. In a normally breathing patient who is using oxygen conventionally from the wall, that is without the oxflow system, this color blue indicates that the oxygen is flowing through the mask and through the circuit, through the mask and through the circuit, even during exhalation when it's not even required. As we can see with this diagram with the oxflow system, during inhalation, oxflow is available. However, during exhalation, oxflow system is not working. It is saving the oxygen that would normally be flushing through the system. So the respiratory cycle during inhalation, the oxflow system is delivering the oxygen necessary and not during exhalation when it's wasted. And that's how the oxflow system works. Hi, I'm Dr. James O'Brien, pulmonary specialist. And today I'm gonna to talk to you about how we give oxygen to patients who need large quantities of oxygen. And what I have in front of me are two very commonly used masks for patients that need oxygen. I'm gonna explain what each of these do. This first mask has perforations on the inside for the patient to breathe in and out, but through this tube comes high concentrations of oxygen, which provides approximately 40% oxygen to the patient with a liter flow of about six liters going through this tubing for the patient. The second mask here is a different mask with a bag, and this bag is a reservoir, and it collects the oxygen coming through the tubing at a much higher rate, closer to 10 or 12 liters, even more than that, to keep this bag full. So as the patient is inhaling, this bag is collapsing, and the patient is getting as high a concentration of oxygen, approximately 80%, as they possibly can. The problem with these two systems is that the flow is continuous. All the time there is air flowing through these tubes. And here we have an oxygen mask with continuous flow of oxygen at 10 liters per minute. But the patient is only consuming the oxygen during inhalation and all the other time during exhalation is a waste. Here we have a non-rebreather mask delivering oxygen continuously from the wall. However, when you're inhaling, that's when you need the oxygen, and any other time during exhalation, it's a waste. Hi, I'm Dr. James O'Brien, and I'm here with Dr. Basil Berry, and I'm going to show you how the Oxflow system works. Here we can see Dr. Basil Berry is wearing a face mask, the similar face mask that we normally use in hospitals with patients on oxygen, but the tubing is now entirely different. It's a much larger tubing with very little resistance for the patient to breathe against. 
The air he's breathing is what we call ambient pressure. There's no pressurized air in this system. We have a reservoir bag, which is collecting the pressurized oxygen, but from here to the patient, our system is permitting ambient pressure and he's breathing in gradually easily. He can breathe in at 10 breaths per minute, 20 breaths per minute, different tidal volumes, whatever he's choosing to breathe, the system will be controlled by the patient and the oxygen will always be there during inspiration. In addition to that, the inhaled uh, oxygen is replaced one for one from the wall. So as he's breathing in a half a liter, one liter, the oxygen is being replaced one for one uh, from the wall, which is a pressurized system, which we can see demonstrated on the video. Uh, lastly, the amount of oxygen he's breathing may vary based on his breathing, and I'm going to ask Dr. Basilberry to take several deep breaths and see what the flow meter does, which indicates that it's delivering oxygen during inhalation. Very good. Now I'm going to ask the doctor to hold his breath for three seconds. He's holding his breath now. We see the oxygen system's not pressurized at all and the bag remains exactly the same. And now we're gonna ask him just to breathe slowly, back and forth through the circuit, which is very low resistance. And we can see the oxygen is delivered under pressure to this reservoir bag, which is then changing it to ambient pressure, which is easy for him to breathe through with a one-way valve and a HEPA filter that we're demonstrating here at the end here. Uh, lastly, I'd like him just to breathe rapidly, a tachypnic patient, and see what is happening to this system under that kind of stress. It's up to 10 liters and remaining in 10 liters with constant flow in order to keep the bag filled with oxygen. Very good. How does your breathing feel? Comfortable. Comfortable breathing. Thank you, Dr. Brian. Well, my pleasure. This is how Oxfo works. Thank you for watching. Now, as you can see in front of him is the Oxfo prototype system, and this system is designed for locations where there are rough working conditions. As you can see, the Oxfo device has been designed to efficiently deliver oxygen to patients all over the world. Due to its simplicity, low cost, lightweight design, and practicality, Oxo can be used in hospitals at home, in harsh work environments, and even during severe weather. By investing in our device, you'll invest in the future. A future where in the battle against pandemics and other diseases, people will have a chance to increase their oxygen supply by more than 50%. This is especially important for developing nations where people in need are at risk of not being able to access something as vital as oxygen. Now is the time when Oxford can help save lives.